What is going on guys, this is L321 here today, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your computer or laptop. So let's get straight into this video. I would recommend you guys watch this video till the end, as there will be some quite important points made in this video. And I can also guarantee you, after you've watched this video, your computer will be running games at a higher frame per second. If you guys want to see a video on the best gaming PCs to buy, or whether you should just build your own, let me know in the comments and like the video as well. Now, of course, if your computer is an absolute pile of shit, then you're probably not going to see much of a difference compared to other people. If your computer is still running Windows XP and looks like an effing shed on wheels, then you're probably not going to get too much of an improvement. But for those who have a low-end gaming computer or a low-end gaming laptop or even just a casual laptop or desktop that isn't too old this video will help you guys out this gets straight into this so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press Control alt delete on your keyboard and you're going to click where it says task manager you're gonna open this up and once it's loaded what we're gonna do is we're going to go to startup what you want to do is deactivate anything you don't use just go ahead click on something right click to save with it a lot of things will be on here that you guys don't need to use for me personally I never use iTunes so that's disabled and there's just loads of stuff on here really so try and disable as much as you can it will also say the impact the program has as well so it's quite useful so once you've done that guys what we're going to do is we're going to cross that off and we're going to go to your documents you're going to go to this PC and you're going to click on your local disk and you're going to right click and select properties now this is something you guys need to do on a regular basis which you might not do already so what you want to do is click where it says disk cleanup and this will clean up all the crap on your computer and you want to be doing this at least once a week so make sure you do this guys it's quite important to be honest a lot of people don't do it doesn't take very long this is a very quick process but if you haven't done it in quite a while i can imagine it taking a little longer so once you've done that let's go to tools um, we've got something called error checking, which is also quite important. You might have some errors, and if you do, don't worry, it's quite common. Make sure you do check this every now and then as well. And now we get to the defragmentation of your hard drive. Now, this is something which takes a lot longer. Sometimes this can take a few hours, depending on how big your hard drive is. So really, you don't need to do it as much. If you've got a smaller hard drive, go ahead and do this as much as you can. Now, when you click on this, Apparently, your computer will do this weekly, it says here. But I honestly think that's an absolute lie because when does it actually do it? Like when? Once you click on this, click your hard drive and then select optimize. And it will defragment your hard drive and just do this as much as you can. See how long it takes as well on your first go at doing it. Right, now that you've done that, now what we're going to do is press the start key and we're going to type in device manager. Now, once this loads, what you guys want to do is make sure all your drivers are up to date. So, your stuff like your USBs, uh, any external devices you use. So, it can be your Wi-Fi adapter, your processor, your display adapters. But we'll get onto that in a moment. Your mice, your monitors, everything. Just go on it, click on something. So, for example, this use the USB uh, Microsoft controller. I think this is the extension for the Xbox controller, but I might be wrong. If you click on it and select update driver, it will search for a driver. And you might find that some of your drivers are outdated, so just do this manually. Or also, you can actually go online and search for the drivers instead of doing it this way. But what I would say to you guys is, do not use any of those programs which supposedly automatically update your drivers. Um, they're terrible, and they actually gave me the blue screen of death on my old computer. So don't use those programs. They're absolutely crap. Just do it manually and you will be 100% safe. What we're now going to do is press the start key and we're going to type in run. Now what we want to do is type in prefetch and click OK. And what we're going to do is click continue and now just delete all these files. You don't need these. You can click control A and then press delete and you can delete all the files. Now what we can do is type in run again and we're going to type in, we're going to type in the percentage sign and temp 
and then the percentage sign again and once again we can delete all these files now you might find you have a couple of gigabytes of crap in there so yeah for me there wasn't as much because i do this quite often but yeah make sure you do that as often as you can as well okay so next we're going to open up our display adapter so this is your graphics card you always want to make sure this is up to date so if you're using a nvidia graphics card a geforce um, you might know this already, but you need to make sure that you have the application, which is free to get by the way, and you want to make sure it is up to date. Not even mine is up to date right now, so as you can see, I'm pretty shit at this as well. But anyways, I do usually keep it up to date. So if you go to drivers, and then you will see the new update here, so you can just download it. Pretty simple to do, make sure it's updated, and now that we've looked at that, so this next step is only for Windows 10 users. If you don't have a Windows 10 operating system, just skip this step. What you want to do is you want to press the start key and you want to click settings right here. Now what you want to do is click apps. You'll see a long list of apps on here and a lot of these you probably don't even know are installed. So if you see anything you don't want, just uninstall it. And Windows 10 automatically download those of apps, which is very annoying. Like the Xbox app, for example, and you can't uninstall this actually. There's a longer way of doing it. If you search online, there is a tutorial online. But anything you don't want, so whatever the hell this is, Paint 3D, Mobile Plans, whatever that is, Microsoft Solitaire Collection, unless you play Solitaire, uh, you can click on it, by the way, and just select it, uninstall right there. So yeah, there's going to be quite a lot of stuff on here you're probably going to be uninstalling. But yeah, make sure you uninstall as much stuff as possible. What the heck is this? Right, uninstall that. Look at all this, so Bubble Witch 3 Saga, I mean, what the heck is this? Oh, you don't ask for this, but yeah, anyways, delete as much as you can, and um, once we've done that, what we can do, you can go to where it says um, offline maps and just turn all this stuff off. And that's pretty much it for that. So the next thing is, if you press the start button and you type in power, and you go to where it says edit power plan, and you click where it says change advanced power settings, click that. Click on the drop down menu and make sure high performance is selected. This doesn't matter whether you're on a desktop or a laptop, just make sure that is on high performance. Now we've done quite a few things to speed the computer up, you're not going to see massive differences just yet. But if you find you're still not getting the frames you want, this is the next step you can take. You've got your hard drive here. And of course, you want to erase as much stuff off this as possible. Anything you don't need, just take it off. So what you're going to do is click where it says this PC and you're going to right click and click properties. Now before anyone says, I never said I had a low end computer by the way. I've actually got quite a good computer. But I have used bad computers in the past and I've sort of had to figure out ways of being able to play the games I wanted without the game looking choppy and crappy. So, so we're going to click advanced system settings, you're going to click settings here and you're going to select adjust for best performance. Now, as I've said before in previous videos, your computer is going to look terrible, it's going to look awful. But you're going to get loads more frames. So what I would do is turn this on just before you play the game. And you would definitely see a difference. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to press Control alt delete on our keyboard. We're going to go back to Task Manager. And just before you start up your game, you'll see all the current programs which are running. And just go ahead and delete any of the programs you don't actually use. Well, right now you don't use. So let's say that you don't use Skype. Click on it, right click and select end task. So try and get rid of as many programs as you can that you aren't using right now. But anyways, once you've done that, what we're going to do is you'll go in to boot your game up. And once your game is booted, you'll see it in this long list of programs. So this just imagine that this is the game right here, Epic Games Launcher. Once the game's running, right click on it and click go to details. Then right click on it again and click set priority and set this as either above normal or high. If you put it on high it's a little bit risky because it could crash. So I would probably recommend above normal but if your computer is real struggling put it on high. So guys that's about it in terms of things you can do to speed up your computer. There is programs you can use like CC Cleaner which is pretty good, but it does pretty much what I've said in this video. It, it does all what I just said, 
but it will do it within the program so it's a little bit more simple so i would yeah recommend getting it i think it's free so yeah why not people have asked me what about the game booster programs that are out there the simple answer to that is it's their crap they, they don't really do what they say it doesn't really add anything else to your game it doesn't really help it that much and also a lot of these programs do put spyware on your computer and even trojans as well even the ones that look legit i've actually had problems with in the past as i said there is a program called the razor game booster and they have a drivers program as well which gave you the blue screen of death so i wouldn't actually go anywhere near those programs i would just do what i've said in the video and if you're still getting bad frames, which to be honest, I don't know how that could be possible, but if you are, you just need to get a better computer, because your computer must suck if you're still getting bad frames. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new, so you don't miss out on the best money trolling and gaming content, and I will see you next time.